What's going on guys? Here I have an April Air 800 steam humidifier and today I'm going to show you how to wire in the humidistat controller. It's actually very simple once you understand what's going on. So on the right here we have the humidifier itself, the April Air 800. You see the steam pipe going into the HVAC equipment. Here's the HVAC equipment and on the left side we have the humidistat which controls the humidifier and tells it when to turn on and off. Um, you'll need to note where your HVAC equipment connects to your thermostat, all that wiring there. And then your humidifier controller, which is your humidistat, will need to get wired into your HVAC as well as the humidifier on the right there. So here is our humidistat. Um, this is the April Air Model 62. This is what ships with the April Air 800 steam humidifier. And on the front, we can turn it off um, it goes to zero and then we can have different levels all the way up to seven when you run it in the manual mode this is the different humidity settings this humidifier controller can also operate in a um, automatic mode which utilizes the outdoor temperature sensor and that will automatically set your indoor humidity based on the outdoor temperature so let's go ahead and show you how everything is wired up Go ahead and pull off the front control panel. So inside here, I'm not gonna go from left and right because it, I think it's simpler to understand um, if I point out some of the main components here. The two black leads here, which are wired into the terminals called ODT, that's outdoor temperature sensor. OD is outdoor, T for temperature. This is the outdoor temperature probe. This reads the outdoor temperature and sets the humidifier automatically based on what temperature it is outside. It doesn't matter you know, which wire goes into which, you just need to make sure the two black wires for your outdoor temperature sensor go into the ODT terminals. Now, to use the humidistat in auto mode where it reads the outdoor temperature and sets it automatically, we toggle this switch over to the left where you see auto, toggle it to the right for manual mode, which is why I have my outdoor temperature sensor just hanging and dangling here is because I only run it in manual mode. Um, you'll also see on the display an M shows up for manual mode. Now the next two wires I'm gonna address are the two H wires. They both say H under them. Those two wires just go to the humidifier over here on the right. And it just tells the humidifier when to turn on and off. So once the humidity is too low in your house, it just sends a signal to the humidifier to turn on. And then once the humidity has reached its desired set point, then it will automatically tell the humidifier to turn off. Now we're gonna go into the wiring that connects to the HVAC equipment and your thermostat now. So on the left-hand side, our first wire is red. And on the humidistat, it's labeled as R, R for red, easy to understand. That is your 24 volts coming from your HVAC equipment. The next wire is C, which is labeled for common. This wire is generally black, and if it's not black, then sometimes it's blue. This comes from your HVAC equipment. It supplies the common for the 24 volts. So those two are power. Next wire is W, white. It comes from your HVAC equipment and that um, sends the heating signal from your HVAC equipment and basically just lets the humidistat know, hey, the heat's turned on so we can go ahead and run the humidifier if necessary. The last two wires here you'll see are labeled G and GF. The right one here is GF. So this is your fan signal coming from your HVAC equipment or your furnace. That's why they call it GF. It's G is fan for HVAC equipment and then F is for furnace. So easy to remember. Your fan signal comes into here and then your last wire which is G is your fan signal that goes to your thermostat. So I'll put up a diagram here but essentially your humidistat intersects the signal between your existing thermostat and your HVAC equipment. That way the humidistat can automatically turn on the fan and the humidifier and just provide humidity 
without turning on the HVAC equipment. So again, it intersects that signal and is placed between the HVAC equipment and the existing thermostat. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple. Um, once you understand what all the wires mean, and then I'm gonna throw the control panel back on. I'll explain this blower activation here. So blower activation allows the humidifier to basically run without turning the heating signal on on the furnace. And when you turn that on, then this humidifier, when it reads that the humidity is too low in the house, will automatically turn on the humidifier and run the fan for the HVAC equipment. It doesn't need to turn on the cooling or the heat at all. That's when blower activation mode is on. Now, when you turn it off, it'll only run when the heat function is on on the HVAC equipment. So I hope that all made sense. If you do have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. This was frequently asked, so I went ahead and made a video on it. If you guys found the video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out tech videos on my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.